assault it. All right, what's going on guys? Welcome to this video. I'm extremely pumped for you guys who haven't seen this video to see this video. Now, the video that I'm about to play is a video that Dave made his senior year of high school. So me and Dave both graduated high school from the same high school, which is two streets from my house, and we graduated the same year. Now, everyone in Dave's uh, senior year uh, English class had to make a senior documentary on something that they either were extremely passionate about or their family or something like that. Now, clearly, me and Dave are most passionate about you know lifting weights. We were then, we are now, so it was a no-brainer for Dave to make his documentary on weightlifting, but he didn't want to make the documentary on himself because he didn't want to seem like a narcissistic prick who all he did with his entire life was lift weights. So he made me look like a narcissistic prick who all I do in life is lift weights. But on a serious note, the documentary is actually pretty cool. It's kind of funny. So I figured I would show it to you guys who haven't seen it yet. And yeah, it's pretty nostalgic. Honestly, me watching this, I, I watched it the other night. I was like, shit, I think a lot of people like this. So that's why I wanted to kind of re-upload it for you guys. And yeah, right before we get into the video, I want to say, if this video gets 3,000 likes, just 3,000 boom click like the video, right? I will do a video in the next week or two with Dave, a raw training video. So we'll just go to the gym, raw training clips. I know you guys love that type of stuff. So if you guys smash the like button 3,000 times, me and Dave will do a raw workout on this channel at some point in the next few weeks. But anyways, guys, enjoy this video and leave a comment down below. I'm going to try to answer as many comments as possible. And I'll see you guys in the next video, which is going to be soon. Oh, wait. Also, wanted to say I'm wearing the Steve Cook times Gymshark range right here. So this thing right here, this hat right here, there's a bunch of dope stuff that's going to be releasing in the next few weeks. So be on the lookout for that stuff, guys, because um, this is by far my favorite line that's honestly ever been released. I just really like this stuff. So, yeah, I don't know. I'm going to shut up, watch the video, enjoy it. They always make me like a fucking prick in all the videos. I don't know, he's kind of like jealous that you have a higher deadlift than him. I was talking about that the other... Yo, what's up? What's up, guys? Yo, what are you doing? Why does Dave always make me like a fucking prick in all the videos? I don't know, he's kind of like jealous that you have a higher deadlift than him. I was talking about that the other... Yo, what's up? What's up, guys? Well, he started out like a skinny young man, very scrawny, no muscle at all, and all of a sudden, out of nowhere, he just... He blew up, and... and that's just all I can say about it. The man's an a absolute animal. Dylan used to be a little twig. He was real tiny and small, and he had no muscle mass at all. Freshman year, Dill Dil was, I wouldn't say average. I mean, he was below average wrestler. Like, he, he tried. He really did. Like, he was good with the moves, but he was just so, like, skinny and small, like, he just, he lost every match. The kid didn't win one match. I could slam him down on the ground in a second. Now, he just touches me and it hurts. It's ridiculous. He hurts me and Gian all the time. He doesn't know how strong he is. And he's just so strong. He'll bump into you and he knocks you over. It's like ridiculous. He'll be like, Mom, you're such a wimp. You're so weak. I'm extremely glad that I got into powerlifting because a lot, like I know a lot of people play sports in high school and as soon as they're, they're done with their sport in high school, they end up getting out of shape or they have like nothing really to look forward to. And so they end up just pretty much doing nothing to keep in shape. And for me, because I have powerlifting, I'll always be able to do it until I'm basically dead. I mean, I, I, can, always, I can always train powerlifting. I think that it affected his life very positively because he's so into it. And, uh, you know, what's this thing he does? He's not doing football right now. He's not doing lacrosse or anything like that. He just does lifting and goes to the gym like six days a week. And he doesn't and... do drugs. Like, I'll think about, I have to hit a certain number in the gym that day. And it's just, it's something that will keep me pushing forward and keep me from uh, doing heroin and other things like that. <laughs> and keep me from uh, doing heroin and probably dying. But, uh, or like jumping off a bridge from doing, like, because I, I go down a bad path and do a lot of drugs and stuff. Massive, massive. He's huge. He's, I call him the beast. <laughs> I hear him say, Ma! And I know that he wants to eat again, and, you know, it's ridiculous. My grocery bills are, like, out of control. Hard to keep food in the house. Powerlifting has kept me away from drugs and alcohol a lot because the kind of people you're around when you're always in the gym and you have a lot of friends from the gym are not the partying type of people necessarily. They're the type of people who are more into 
keeping their bodies fit and healthy. If you're a very serious powerlifter, you can't really drink all the time or do drugs because it's extremely detrimental to your progress. Have you ever been a victim of uh, Dylan's physical abuse ever since? Yeah, hey, I'm gonna get in trouble, dude. Quite a few times. I mean, Dylan would just like bully me like here and then, but like I really can't do anything because he's just like <laughs> so big and strong. Like, oh. <laughs> now like he put on like a ton of like muscle, like obviously as you can see, and like. He just, like, he just, whenever we wrestle, he just squeezes my hands, and I just, like, I can't do anything. Like, he'll literally just grab, and it hurts, like, really bad, and I just, like, I can't break the grip or do anything. It's really hard. My short-term goals for powerlifting are to hit around a 650 deadlift, a 550 squat, and around a 365 bench press. And my current numbers right now are a 350-pound bench press. A 350 bench? Well, I'm really confused. I can hit 350 right now. A 500 pound squat and a 585 pound deadlift. A big thing that I want to do in my future is like start a YouTube channel and I want to motivate people and inspire people to get fit and to live a healthy lifestyle and to live a lifestyle that they're proud of and that they're happy of. And I think that before I started lifting weights and before I started powerlifting, I didn't really know what I wanted to do with my life. I didn't know where I was gonna go with my life. And now that I started powerlifting, it gave me the motivation to wanna inspire other people to do what I do because I know how happy it makes me and how motivated it makes me. So when I first met Dylan, it was my junior year in the uh, football weight room we were lifting. Him and uh, Sam Jackson came up to me, were asking me questions about like who I resembled most when I was their age and all this stuff. and. I saw a little spark in Dill's eye. I knew he wanted it. I knew he wanted to be a big guy. So ever since then, he's worked his hardest. He's taken, taken no stops. He's done everything he could to put on the most size possible. And now he's here. And you know what? I'm glad to call him a friend. <laughs> So after wrestling ended, I was like, I just like didn't do anything. I just sat on the couch and got fat and stuff. But you know, Dill, Dill inspired me to go lift and stuff. Yeah, he, uh, he tells me some stuff to do. He wrote me a program. Yeah, Dave, put the clip on. Dave, can you put that clip on, Dale? Dave, that looked like three plays or two, dude. I'm talking about powerlifting and bodybuilding like it's my entire life when it is a huge part of my life but in reality I still do the things that I love to do like hang out with my friends, go out to eat, go to the beach all the time, I have a job and I'm still, I try to be well rounded in all aspects of life 
I just really focus a lot of my attention on powerlifting. I don't really know what I'm going to do in the future, but my main goal through lifting weights is to inspire other people.